you do not have to buy niche fragrances if you want to smell expensive. If you want to know the fragrances that I have, then keep watching. Hi darlings, welcome back to my video. If you are new to this channel, my name is Charlene and on this channel I talk about fragrances, lifestyle and tea. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on fragrances that will make you smell like money. They will make you smell luxurious or they smell expensive, they're long lasting and the quality of these fragrances are outstanding. I wear a mixture of the two. I love niche perfumes and I love designer also. So since my perfume journey and sharing my love for fragrances with you all, I wanted to share fragrances in my collection that are comparable to niche fragrances. For those of you who are new to niche perfumes or for those who have never heard of a niche fragrance before and this is all new to you and you're interested in buying niche, you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money to receive the same performance or the same feel when you wear these fragrances. A lot of the perfumes I have are long lasting, they radiate so well, and they are highly complimented. The very first perfume that I have is this one here. This is my Flower Bomb, and this is by Victor and Rolf. Now, Flower Bomb is a beautiful oriental floral, which is highly, highly complimented, guys. Every time I wear this perfume, I receive compliments, and it radiates so well. Flower Bomb has notes of green tea, bergamot, jasmine, freesia and orchid, and we have musk and patchouli. This is one of my best performing fragrances, and what I love about this perfume is that it's so sweet and pretty. I find this to be quite playful and elegant. This makes an amazing evening scent. However, I like to wear this in the daytime also. I think this fragrance Oh guys, <laughs> this is such a beautiful fragrance. It's the orchid, the bergamot, the musk and patchouli in here. This is a very densely rich perfume. It performs so well. It has qualities that would resemble a niche fragrance. I find this to be fairly unique. In my opinion, I mean, when I first started wearing Flower Bomb, which I did wear this a few years ago when I discovered this perfume, more than five years ago, I think back then I was mainly wearing Christian Dior, Chanel, Guerlain and a few other brands also and I really love this. <laughs> I couldn't believe that this was a designer fragrance and when I tried this I was like this is so similar in terms of its qualities to a niche house. That's what I felt in my opinion. That's what drew me to this. This is a fragrance that if someone was walking past, I could easily identify this perfume because it radiates so well. The qualities to me in Flower Bomb that is comparable to a niche house is the fact that this is very unique and long lasting and it radiates so well. I love the actual formula. To me, the formula smells so different. As a designer house, I do find that Flower Bomb is at a higher price point. And it could just be the ingredients in here as well and the performance, I think maybe it's all linked. If you enjoy florals that are sweet, delicate, highly feminine, I recommend a Flower Bomb for you. You do not have to spend a lot of money <laughs> to smell amazing, guys. And that's what this video is about. I'll be sharing my fragrances that make you smell expensive with just your staple designer perfumes. So I wanted to highlight all of those fragrances with you. The next designer fragrance I have is Girl of Now by Ellie Saab. And this perfume contains a very creamy, milky, almondy pistachio note with some white florals. Guys, when I first tried this perfume, I could not believe how intense that pistachio note was. That's what really drew me to this fragrance. Wow, it's that nutty, creamy note that I love in this perfume. Guys, you know there are so many gourmand fragrances out there, vanillas, almonds, tonka, but this one to me just really stood out and I just love the creamy milkiness to this perfume. In Girl of Now, we have mandarin, pear, pistachio, we have orange blossom, magnolia and almonds, we have patchouli, cashmere, 
almond milk and tonka bean. Scallop now is for your gourmand lovers. If you like fragrances with that like tonic, creamy, milky note, this is for you. This smells beautiful on my skin. I get good wear out of this, I must say. And I can actually smell this perfume around me. You receive this scent bubble, a cloud of almond milk and crushed pistachios. I just love this fragrance so much. This is one of my go-to fragrances for late summer, autumn, most definitely winter. This is comparable to a niche house by how unique it is. Um, in its own special way, it just has this signature note to it that to me is just Elisa, Girl of Now. And I love almond vanilla based perfumes, but this one to me just has something about it. And I love it for that reason. This does remind me a little bit of a fragrance by Killian as well. So I think in terms of a niche house, I would relate this to a Killian fragrance. This is so creamy, rich and feminine. It's an attractive fragrance for the evenings, I would say. It's beautiful. Quite addictive, this one. So that I have Chanel Chance Eau de Parfum. And this is a classic fragrance. If you want to smell attractive, a bit refined and classy, this is something I would recommend. This is beautiful, guys. This is a beautiful evening scent to wear. Chanel Chance is a citrus fragrance with pink pepper, jasmine, iris, and we have patchouli, vetiver, and amber. Chance Eau de Parfum makes a timeless classic perfume. This is comparable to a niche fragrance because it's just so highly complimented. And this is a well-received perfume. I feel like no matter what company you're in or whichever occasion you're at, this just suits all occasions and it's highly complimented. Most people just adore this fragrance and I find that it attracts compliments all the time. Um, so just to remind you guys, I wanted to remind you of a beautiful fragrance that Again, you don't have to buy expensive niche perfumes to get the same results and to receive the compliments or to make a statement. Let me know down below what you're actually looking for when you are considering buying a niche fragrance. Are you looking for the performance, uniqueness? Do you want something different? Do you want a perfume that you can just talk about the story behind it? It's like what makes it special to you that makes you want a niche? Where you've actually forgotten about your wonderful designer fragrances, if that's the case. What I loved about C is that it had the dry down of a warm, rich vanilla with a little bit of fruits in the background. It was a combination of a fruity, warm and soft vanilla. This is your woody, ambery fragrance with notes of patchouli and vanilla. We have black currant and mandarin in this perfume. When you first spray this, I receive a dark berry, almost like a rich juice or perhaps a fine wine, like a Merlot or a red wine. And then in the dry down, I receive patchouli, amber, vanilla. See, it radiates extremely well. From the skin, you get this beautiful trail of vanilla and a little bit of berries and some bergamot. I just love this perfume. This makes a great evening date night scent. This will fill the room. I really love this one. It's really soft. And I'm looking forward to heading into the autumn to wear this. I think when we think of niche fragrances, we're looking for something that's highly complex and unique, different, and you just want to stand out. I have a fragrance here, and this is by Tom Ford, and this is my Velvet Orchid. This gives me pure niche vibes, guys. This is one of the fragrances from their signature collection. This fragrance is easily accessible to all, so you don't have to go to a department store just to find this. You can find this in your local drugstores, and also online, it's just so easy to find this fragrance. When I first smelt this perfume, I could not believe how beautiful this fragrance is. This smells extremely complex, it smells a bit different, it's unique, it's beautiful. This is an evening scent. This is not my daytime scent. I don't think this is like a signature scent either. 
but it's unique and it's beautiful and everyone can buy it. The price point is quite fair and reasonable for what you receive. I think longevity is moderate. It's not too bad, but if you want the uniqueness, if you still want to smell like you're wearing niche, then wear this one. This is a highly complex scent. There is a smoothness in this perfume that I do like. It's kind of creamy with the suede and vanilla. We have orange blossom, we have rummy notes in here. It's a little bit boozy and creamy at the same time. This smells amazing and the price point again is quite reasonable for what you receive for 100 ml. This is beautiful. This smells like that niche style. You have rum, you have orange blossom, you have sandalwood in here. It's quite unique, this blend. It makes a great unisex scent as well. So that's my Velvet Orchid by Tom Ford. If you want to smell expensive with a designer fragrance, I would add this to my collection. This is my Twilly. This is your spicy floral fragrance that every time I wear this, I just feel dressed up. I feel expensive. This smells expensive. It smells so beautiful. Some fragrances I find from designer houses, just they've just done it right. And you receive the perfume oils, you receive that performance, it gives you the illusion, or it just is expensive. It gives you that expensive feel, it has that touch to it, it gives you this vibe, it makes you feel some type of way. Twilly is one of them, and guys, I don't know what it is about this. This takes me back to my childhood. It is, in my mind, I don't know why, it reminds me of a very expensive soap as well. This isn't soapy, but it just reminds me of something in my past. It just smells gorgeous, guys. I love it. This is your tuberose and jasmine with orange and bergamot in the top notes. We have ginger and sandalwood. This is really expensive smelling, guys. It makes you smell like luxury. Twilly is alluring, feminine. It smells expensive. It's a beautiful fragrance by Hermes. So darlings, I went through my fragrances just to find all my designer fragrances. I picked the 10 that I just feel is fairly comparable to Anish House. This is my J'adore Lo, and this is so enchanting guys it's quite unique and smooth and beautiful highly elegant this is a fragrance with rose jasmine tonka bean and vanilla this is the most expensive smelling designer perfume that i have and i remembered when i first bought this perfume and it was wrapped in that beautiful christian dior box this has to be one of my most enchanting opulent fragrances in my collection that's from a designer house and if you are a fan of, I think if you're a fan of Roja perfumes, then this is fairly similar. It gives you that vibe, you know, it's the quality might be different, but it just gives you that vibe. And I think if you wear this, you feel like you're wearing an expensive niche house. So this is, however, a 40 ml bottle of fragrance, and this is going to cost you around about the hundred pound mark. This is only available in one size. And this is the Essence de Parfum. It has a very strong, rich fragrance. It's quite heavy and dense. It smells luxurious. It's a beautiful scent. You get the smooth, creamy tonka and vanilla, rose and jasmine. I would describe J'adore La to be warming and intense, just like gold. And it has this silky, texture to it, it's smooth, it's pretty. It gives me the vibe to a Roja Dove fragrance. It reminds me very slightly of Danger, that opulent, rich florals. That's what I receive when I smell this. It's beautiful, guys. And you are going to smell like a queen <laughs> wearing this. It smells like a rich woman, it smells like a boss, it just smells like you're in control, but you're elegant and beautiful. This smells like a niche fragrance. And I wanted to share that with you. The next perfume I wanted to share with you is my Ellie Saab, and this is the Le Parfum Royal. I totally love this scent, guys. This is a fragrance that to me is addictive and beautiful. Now, after talking about opulent fragrances, this gives you that vibe and it smells like 
quality guys it's a beautiful fragrance i was in harrods a few weeks ago actually no i was in harrods a few months ago and they were handing out fragrance strips to smell and i just grabbed it i didn't even look <laughs> as to where it was coming from and i smelled it and i was like oh my gosh this smells beautiful and i went back and i asked her about the fragrance and I said, there's a fragrance that I need to buy and it smells gorgeous. And she said, it's this one. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have that fragrance. <laughs> it's this one here. It just smells beautiful. It smells like money. It smells expensive. It's unique. And in this fragrance, you have rose and orange. You have neroli. There's patchouli in this perfume as well. And I really do love this. This is like quite decadent, sophisticated. If I'm going out, I would want to wear this. But... I like to wear this more in the evenings. However, I was wearing this a lot this summer. I wanted to feel like I was having a luxurious holiday abroad. So I spent a lot of time by water. <laughs> and in the evenings, this is a scent I was wearing a lot at night um, for dinners and just to give me that vibe, like I've traveled, you know, and um, this did it for me. It smells so gorgeous. I think you can easily confuse this for a niche perfume. The sandalwood vanilla in the base of this with the neroli and rose, it's quite a bright fragrance, I would say. And I would describe this to be quite dense and luxurious. It smells gorgeous. It's like, if you like oranges with rose, it's a little bit sparkly, but there's a heavy, dense smoothness to the base with the sandalwood and vanilla. I think with the earthy patchouli as well, that sort of woody notes is really spectacular. This is quite dressed up. You have like a romantic date night. If you're by the pool, by water, um, on the beach, I think it's quite a nice escape, this fragrance. I don't know. I find it to be like a romantic getaway scent. You and your love are having a meal together or walking under the moonlight. I think this is a fragrance that just smells romantic and gorgeous <laughs> that's my Elisab royal and this designer house is dior now this perfume is for those of you who love vintage style fragrances that are complex this is my poison by christian dior and this is a fragrance that has many layers it's like layers of beautiful intense notes that has a sharpness to it a uniqueness about it it smells like money guys it smells expensive it smells like <sighs> this is a beautiful fragrance guys and this again it gives me it reminds me of so many different niche houses and i think this would remind me a little bit of rosia or there's so many different fragrance houses that this reminds me of that are niche this will not cost you any more than 50 dollars for a 30 ml bottle i'm not sure if this fragrance is suited to more mature ladies um, but if you like something that's unique, then I think this fragrance would suit anyone over the age of 25, between 25 and 30, I would imagine. But I just think it's really cool and different because if you wear this, no one's really wearing this perfume. So you could wear this and you might shock everyone and they'll be quite intrigued to know what you're wearing to find out it's a designer fragrance that's been on the market for the longest time. It's good to change things up a bit and sort of go back to what we have available. You don't always have to wear a niche fragrance to smell unique. So try it and see, let me know what you think. Do you have this fragrance? If you do, let me know in the comment section. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I'm gonna read the notes to you guys because this is quite a complex fragrance, but looking at the notes here, it's based on spices and some plummy notes. So in the opening we have plum and berries and you do get that sort of dark berry note in here. Coriander, anise, we have rosewood as well. We have tuberose, carnation, orange flower, rose and jasmine with cinnamon and honey. And I think you do pick up like this sweet, sticky, but not a sugary sweet, like a like almost like a bitter honey note. That's what I pick up. And in the base, we have amber, vanilla, musk, and then we also have sandalwood and vetiver. And there's some heliotrope in here as well. Guys, this is complex. This is stunning, guys. So that's my poison by Dior. If you guys have any fragrances that you recommend that are from your designer collection that have 
qualities of a niche perfume, leave a comment down below and let's share our ideas and experiences within my community. I have a law by Chanel and this fragrance is really unique for the house of Chanel and the reason why I'm talking about this is because Chanel fragrances, I feel like you have to really like the style of Chanel. Their fragrances are not extremely varied, they're quite similar. I find their perfumes to be very formal, classy, elegant. We have a few that's a bit more fresh and fruity. As a designer house, I wouldn't describe their fragrances to be playful or sweet like gourmands, but this is the only fragrance that comes fairly close to a gourmand, it's sweet and um, but in a mature way it's not your sticky play-doh or syrupy sweet gourmands it has a mild sweetness to it and i think with the fruity notes of passion fruit and vanilla in this perfume it makes it quite special we have rose jasmine magnolia in this perfume we have some lemon in here as well i think it's really beautiful a very elegant fragrance by chanel and i think this has qualities similar to a niche fragrance. I think it's an underrated perfume and I'm not sure why, um, but I do find it's very elegant and beautiful. So that's my allure. The last perfume I have to share with you is my Dior Addict. My goodness, guys, when I tried this fragrance many years ago, I could not believe how beautiful this fragrance was. It was definitely love at first sniff. It was the notes of tonka bean. It had this warm, exotic, deep vanilla fragrance. And I was just blown away by this perfume. It smells dark, rich, sophisticated. This fragrance is a double dose of orange. You have mandarin orange, you have orange blossom. Then you have some rose in this fragrance and it sits on this luxurious bed. And I imagine the bed to have silk, pillows and silk bedding. It would be a bed of tonka, vanilla and sandalwood. It just smells like luxury guys. This fragrance smells smooth, creamy, it's quite intense and I think with that intensity would make it comparable to your niche fragrance. I do find this to be a little bit unique as well so that's my Dior Addict. So this completes my top 10 fragrances that are designer perfumes but they give you some niche qualities. They perform well, they are long lasting, they smell unique, they have a vintage vibe, they have a luxurious vibe. These perfumes smell expensive. Let me know down below in the comments which of these are your favorites and do you agree with my picks? If you have any fragrances you wish to add, let me know. I will add everything down below in the description box below. So darlings, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. If you are new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe and like this video so I can continue to make more content for you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.